In particle physics, the quark model is a classification scheme for hadrons in terms of their valence quarks, the quarks and antiquarks which give rise to the quantum numbers of the hadrons. The quark model underlies flavor SU, or the eightfold way. The successful classification scheme organizing the large number of lighter hadrons that were being discovered starting in the 1950s and continuing through the 1960s. It received experimental verification beginning in the late 1960s and is a valid effective classification of them to date. The quark model was independently proposed by physicists Murray Gell-Mann and George Zweig in 1964. Today, the model has essentially been absorbed as a component of the established quantum field theory of strong and electroweak particle interactions, dubbed the standard model. Hadrons are not really elementary and can be regarded as bound states of their valence quarks and antiquarks which give rise to the quantum numbers of the hadrons. These quantum numbers are labels identifying the hadrons, and are of two kinds. One set comes from the Poincaré symmetry, JPC, where J, P and C stand for the total angular momentum, P symmetry, and C symmetry, respectively. The remaining are flavor quantum numbers such as the isospin, strangeness, charm, and so on. The strong interactions binding the quarks together are insensitive to these quantum numbers, so variation of them leads to systematic mass and coupling relationships among the hadrons in the same flavor multiplet. All quarks are assigned a baryon number of one-third. Up, charm and top quarks have an electric charge of plus two-thirds, while the down, strange, and bottom quarks have an electric charge of minus one-third. Antiquarks have the opposite quantum numbers. Quarks are spin one-half particles, and thus fermions. Each quark or antiquark obeys the Gell-Mann minus Nishijima formula individually, so any additive assembly of them will as well. Mesons are made of a valence quark minus antiquark pair, while baryons are made of three quarks. This article discusses the quark model for the up, down, and strange flavors of quark symmetry. There are generalizations to larger number of flavors. History Developing classification schemes for hadrons became a timely question after new experimental techniques uncovered so many of them, that it became clear that they could not all be elementary. These discoveries led Wolfgang Pauli to exclaim, Had I foreseen that, I would have gone into botany and Enrico Fermi to advise his student Leon Liedemann. Young man, if I could remember the names of these particles. I would have been a botanist. These new schemes earned Nobel Prizes for experimental particle physicists, including Luis Alvarez, who was at the forefront of many of these developments. Constructing hadrons as bound states of fewer constituents would thus organize the zoos at hand. Several early proposals, such as the ones by Enrico Fermi and Shen Ning Yang, and by Shoichi Sakata, ended up satisfactorily covering the mesons, but failed with baryons and so were unable to explain all the data. The Gell-Mann Nishijima formula, developed by Murray Gell-Mann and Kazuhiko Nishijima, led to the Eightfold Way classification, invented by Gell-Mann, with important independent contributions from Yuval Neiman. In 1961, the hadrons were organized into SU representation multiplets, octets and decuplets, of roughly the same mass. Due to the strong interactions and smaller mass differences linked to the flavor quantum numbers invisible to the strong interactions, the Gell-Mann-Okubo mass formula systematized the quantification of these small mass differences among members of a hadronic multiplet. Controlled by the explicit symmetry breaking of SU, the spin three halves of an ohm minus baryon, a member of the ground state decouplet, was a crucial prediction of that classification. After it was discovered in an experiment at Brookhaven National Laboratory, Gell-Mann received a Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on the Eightfold Way in 1969. Finally, in 1964, Gell-Mann and, independently, George Zweig discerned what the Eightfold Way picture encodes. 
They posited elementary fermionic constituents, unobserved, and possibly unobservable in a free form, underlying and elegantly encoding the eightfold way classification, in an economical, tight structure, resulting in further simplicity. Hadronic mass differences were now linked to the different masses of the constituent quarks. It would take about a decade for the unexpected nature and physical reality of these quarks to be appreciated more fully. Counterintuitively, they cannot ever be observed in isolation, but instead always combine with other quarks to form full hadrons, which then furnish ample indirect information on the trapped quarks themselves. Conversely, the quarks serve in the definition of quantum chromodynamics. The fundamental theory fully describing the strong interactions and the eightfold way is now understood to be a consequence of the flavor symmetry structure of the lightest three of them. To date, no Nobel Prize has been awarded to Gelman and Zweig for this discovery. Messens. The eightfold way classification is named after the following fact. If we take three flavors of quarks, then the quarks lie in the fundamental representation, three of flavor SU. The antiquarks lie in the complex conjugate representation, three. The nine states made out of a pair can be decomposed into the trivial representation, one, and the adjoint representation, eight. The notation for this decomposition is, figure one shows the application of this decomposition to the mesons. If the flavor symmetry were exact, then all nine mesons would have the same mass. However, the physical content of the full theory includes consideration of the symmetry breaking induced by the quark mass differences, and considerations of mixing between various multiplets, nb. Nevertheless, the mass splitting between the eta and the eta is larger than the quark model can accommodate. And this eta eta puzzle has its origin in topological peculiarities of the strong interaction vacuum, such as instanton configurations. Messons are hadrons with zero baryon number. If the quark and to quark pair are in an orbital angular momentum L state and have spin s, then L minus s, JL plus s, where s equals zero or one, p equals L plus one, where the one in the exponent arises from the intrinsic parity of the quark and to quark pair. C equals L plus S for mesons which have no flavor. Flavored mesons have indefinite value of C. For isospin I equals 1 and 0 states, one can define a new multiplicative quantum number called the G parity such that G equals I plus L plus S. If P equals J, then it follows that S equals 1, thus PC equals 1. States with these quantum numbers are called natural parity states, while all other quantum numbers are thus called exotic baryons. Since quarks are fermions, the spin statistics theorem implies that the wave function of a baryon must be antisymmetric under exchange of any two quarks. This antisymmetric wave function is obtained by making it fully antisymmetric in color, discussed below, and symmetric in flavor, spin and space put together. With three flavors, the decomposition in flavor is. The decouplet is symmetric in flavor, the singlet antisymmetric and the two octets have mixed symmetry. The space and spin parts of the states are thereby fixed once the orbital angular momentum is given. It is sometimes useful to think of the basis states of quarks as the six states of three flavors and two spins per flavor. This approximate symmetry is called spin flavor SU. In terms of this, the decomposition is the 56 states with symmetric combination of spin and flavor decompose under flavor SU into where the superscript denotes the spin S of the baryon. Since these states are symmetric in spin and flavor, they should also be symmetric in space, a condition that is easily satisfied by making the orbital angular momentum L equals zero. These are the ground state baryons. The S equals one half octet baryons are the two nucleons, the three sigmas, the two xis, and the lambda. The S equals three halves decoupled baryons are the four deltas, three sigmas, two xis, and the omega. Mixing of baryons, mass splittings within and between multiplets, 
and magnetic moments are some of the other questions that the model predicts successfully. The discovery of color-color quantum numbers are the characteristic charges of the strong force, and are completely uninvolved in electroweak interactions. They were discovered as a consequence of the quark model classification, when it was appreciated that the spin S equals 3 halves baryon, the delta plus plus, required three up quarks with parallel spins and vanishing orbital angular momentum. Therefore, it could not have an antisymmetric wave function, unless there were a hidden quantum number. Oscar Greenberg noted this problem in 1964, suggesting that quarks should be parafermions. Instead, six months later, Mu Young Han and Yoichiro Nambu suggested the existence of three triplets of quarks to solve this problem. But flavor and color intertwined in that model, they did not commute. The modern concept of color completely commuting with all other charges and providing the strong force charge was articulated in 1973 by William Bardeen, Harold Fritsch, and Murray Gell-Mann, states outside the quark model. While the quark model is derivable from the theory of quantum chromodynamics, the structure of hadrons is more complicated than this model allows. The full quantum mechanical wave function of any hadron must include virtual quark pairs as well as virtual gluons, and allows for a variety of mixings. There may be hadrons which lie outside the quark model. Among these are the glue balls, hybrids and exotic hadrons.